Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. The ML class W164 on the right hand side has faulty rear springs. The air springs are faulty. So let's go ahead, diagnose it and replace them if necessary. And here is the front of the car really up in the air because it's not faulty and there is no problem with it. Airmatic only uh, fault is 5507 suspension strut is implausible and it's only stored so the best solution over here is to lift one by one and I want rear left to be raised F7 So this really means there is a big problem over here. There is uh, the pressure cannot be raised. So there should be a big issue with uh, rear airbags. So here is the issue. I can really raise uh, the front of the car easily and it goes straight away up. But as soon as I try to, for example, lift the rear right, for example, F9 by pressing F9, it's at minus 113. So if I activate it, say it comes probably one millimeter up or two millimeter up and then I start hearing like a puncture a hissing noise so there's a big puncture in the rear airbags so what if you don't have access to star diagnostic or any diagnostic tool let's try now so as you can see we have the valve block over here and there are writing on it so we can always go ahead and remove these uh, hoses individually and try using a compressor to build pressure into the system and see if you can hear a hissing noise so if you have a w164 you come to the uh, right hand front fender at the front just below the headlight and if you go back just beside the radiator over here you see from here on the left hand side of yourself and the right hand side of the car there is the valve block and the compressor is underneath so i also checked this by removing the right and rear uh, valve block uh, hose and used my air compressor which had a fitting special for the hose and i tried putting pressure uh, inside the rear airbags but they couldn't hold any pressure okay and here is the part number you will be looking for the important point over here and it's a safety uh, measure as well over here we have the 40 amp fuse for the uh, air compressor 108 airmatic number 32 53 and 108 is related to airmatic and by mercedes 108 is this one so over here for your own safety you need to remove this uh, 40 amp fuse so uh, while you're working on your suspension the compressor shouldn't come on that can cause many issues, can uh, cause your car to fall off the stand, jack. So I've already removed this and I'm ready to replace my rear airbags. As mentioned over here, the air spring should be deflated before removal. Otherwise, it will cause damage. So the whole air spring is hanging on this little plastic that goes in, in there and stays there. So what you need to do when uh, removing the original air spring is just to pull it out gently. A few things to mention before going ahead. You need to really use a stand. Jack is not enough for this vehicle. And also need uh, to put a support in case something goes wrong with the stand. So this is now safe to go ahead and pull this uh, air spring out. And as you can see, it's... There's nothing underneath now because I have jacked up the car and it's hanging on of that white clip. But before removing the air spring, you need to see that there is a 10 millimeter uh, 
fitting over there that you need to remove. So let's go ahead and remove that 10 millimeter quick video and there it comes out. Okay, this needs two hands, but it's gradually coming up from this space over here. You don't have to remove anything. And that's it. It's out and it's ready for the new one. And to remove this white holder over here, you can turn it like a screw and it gradually comes off. Just like that. Because it's hanging off a screw over there. And to put the new one in, just the reverse. Okay, here is the new one going in and it goes actually very easy. Very important point over here is you should not uh, tighten this screw very much. It's impossible to use a torque meter here, but that rubber gasket or washer should be able to leak proof this fitting over here with slightly tightening up with the 10 millimeter spanner. But first of all, go ahead and hand tighten this fitting and not use a spanner. And then after you went in like half way, you can use your spanner. And then all we need to do is just push up and then That's it, uh, it's in place and white retainer is holding the air spring in place. All I need to do is going to screw with hand that 10 millimeter fitting. It's almost hand tightened all the way and I'm going to use a spanner. Now, as soon as I feel some pressure on the spanner, I'm not going to tighten anymore because it's a brass on plastic fitting so you don't wanna apply too much torque. Okay, it's uh, tight and it's ready to put the wheels back but uh, if this one has gone bad I'm pretty sure the other one will go bad as well so it's a very good idea to replace in pair that's what I'm going to do as well so this vehicle has about 100,000 kilometers on the clock and as you can see the shock is leaking terribly before putting down the car I'm also going to replace the shocks Another very important point over here before putting back. You see this slot over here, you should match it up with this plastic. So you need, before you bring down the jack, you need to rotate this and match it up with that slot over there so it would not rotate in the future. So the only way to remove that white retainer without damaging it would be to unscrew this air shocks by rotating it clockwise. So let's see if we can remove that without damage or not. So the right hand side was only leaky but the left hand side is shredded. It's completely torn and useless. So do yourself a favor and go ahead and replace this. If your car has 100k uh, on the clock, probably it's a good time to replace both of them. Okay, I've jacked up the car just a little bit to help the pump to take the height initially to the correct level. I'm putting the 40 amp fuse back so the compressor can work now because I have finished everything. I have also replaced both shocks which had oil leaks and they were no good after 100,000 kilometers. Okay, let's start up the car. The pump is working and now the height should be even on all four wheels. I can see the back is rising gradually. I'm ready to remove both jacks from both sides. So as you can see, the jack is no longer lifting the car. It's 
same about this one. Because the car is now standing on its wheels. Finally the compressor stopped working and this is the highest level the car can be in terms of height. So now this is the raised height. And if I use this button to lower it, very quickly it's going down to level so this is the standard height and here are the brand new shocks and brand new airbags so we can enjoy the next five six years without any issue Okay guys, thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Have a great day, bye. Let's go.